News stories of late have been filled with violent crimes and a number of involved high school students, including, of course, the recent shooting at McLean High School. This morning, we're talking with Tulsa's police chief, Wendell Franklin, about what the department is doing to help change this trend. Good morning, Police Chief Franklin. Good morning. How are you? Well, I'm doing well. And, you know, just kind of starting off with, would you call it a trend involving especially youth crime victims? We've had Teron Yarborough, Fedro Givens, and then Serenity McAdoo, who was killed at the center of the universe. Yes, yeah, certainly. We've definitely seen seen an uptick in the number of juveniles involved in violent crime. Uh, this is a nationwide trend. Uh, we think that some of this uh, stems from social media. Uh, I, I, I think it's important for, for parents to understand and for people to realize that when you go out on social media and leave that footprint and say you um, get into an argument with someone on social media, what we're seeing is when those individuals see one another, they act out that uh, that disagreement uh, real time, and, and that can that can lead to violent uh, altercations. And it potentially, I would imagine, Chief Franklin, that the opposite could be true, especially for victims, families where social media can be used to solve some of these crimes. Potentially, right? Yeah, certainly. Uh, you know, I, I I like to refer to. I mean, our detectives, our homicide detectives, are incredible, uh, but uh, but we solve a lot of our crime through the use of technology and uh, social media, um, 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 any type of uh, video cameras, those are, are what we use to solve a lot of our crimes. What's your message to young people out there who may be at a crossroads in their life where they take this turn and it could end up bad and they take this turn and it can end up good and they're just, they're there right now? Yeah, I think uh, my message is to uh, disconnect yourself from uh, social media. Under, if you're gonna use social media, then understand uh, the use of it. Understand the fact that it is uh, real and uh, you cannot mask yourself behind a profile name and expect to, uh, you know, not to, not to have consequences to the words that you say. I wanted to switch gears here and talk about these flock cameras, uh, these cameras that are being used to help solve crimes. There was much made when they were first put up, and I think maybe some people at the public meetings were like, oh, what are these going to be used for? Well, uh, what, are they gonna, what are they being used for, and how are they helping solve crimes? Yeah, they've been a, uh, a great asset for law enforcement. We have, uh, we have used these to solve a number of different crimes, including a homicide. Uh, but what, what the, the primary focus of that system is, is to query um, license plates against the NCIC database of stolen vehicles. When we find a stolen vehicle or a stolen tag, we can uh, recover that vehicle. Uh, we want to recover those vehicles quicker because those vehicles are also used in some of the uh, other ro uh, robberies, homicides, burglaries, all of these crimes that are, are violent. Uh, people don't normally use their own vehicle to do those. So it, it helps us in trying to recover those vehicles as quickly as possible. This is an example of a stolen vehicle story here that we're running. Uh, so one of the things I wanted to ask about uh, NCIC, tell us what that is, that database is, and how you all use that, just for folks who may not know what that is. Yeah, that's the National Crime Information Center. That's a database that uh, links all law enforcement across the United States together. So when we enter a vehicle as stolen, uh, we can do that in Tulsa, and if that vehicle is in Florida, then we can, Florida uh, police officers can, can see that vehicle, that tag as stolen, and also recover that vehicle. So it doesn't matter where you're at in the United States. That's remarkable. I mean, that has to just be a godsend for you all trying to solve these crimes where you can just have that connectivity like that. It is. and and. and you know, all law enforcement, uh, cr crime knows no boundaries, so it doesn't matter what jurisdiction you're in. People, criminals don't, don't know that they're hopping from one jurisdiction to another, so it's uh, very necessary for all law enforcement to be connected and, and, and be sharing information. At this point, um, how are you doing with staffing in terms of, the, of TPD, and where do you want to be? Yeah, our numbers continue to decline on our department. Uh, you know, we would love to have that magic number of our authorized strength of 943 officers. Uh, we continue to lose officers to retirements, to other jobs, uh, to the private sector, and we are not able to bring in the, uh, the, the recruits and applicants at the level that we need to. So this is a weird anomaly to be in, to have all the money that you need 
to grow your department but not have uh, an applicant pool to be able to, uh, to, to grow that. So we forecast out and we know uh, what our January class is going to be, what our May class is going to be, and we can, we can, based on those numbers, say we're in a crisis and we're in a crisis right now. What, a little bit of time left, but what is your elevator pitch to that person who may be considering going into law enforcement and why should they work for TPD? Yeah, so uh, we, uh, on TPD, we are one of the agencies that requires the highest education level. That's a bachelor's degree for employment. Uh, we think that's very important in making critical decisions, and uh, data shows that that also helps in reductions of, of, uh, of tort claims. Uh, so so we, have, we look for those officers. Uh, TPD has an incredible department. Uh, we, we operate uh, uh, with take-home cars. We have uh, helicopters. We have K-9, bomb squad. Any and everything that you think of or you've seen on television, you can do that right here on Tulsa Police Department. So there's a career path for growth, um, and, and, and we teach you to do everything that we do. Police Chief Wendell Franklin with Tulsa Police Department, thank you for your time. Thank you.